Leads Midwestern State as the second quarter gets underway. Memorial Stadium, Matthew Duncan reaches up to receive a high snap, then runs left. The quarterback on the run gets out of bounds as he crosses the 20. Marked out of bounds at the 23-yard line in Midwestern State, which is 0 for 4 on third down tonight. To the right of McCarty. McCarty runs behind the right side of his line and gets to the 45-yard line. This is the third play of the drive, and McCarty wants to pass. He's flushed out of the pocket, coming left, and he's going to be dropped for a big loss back at the 36-yard line. the 20-yard line. This is a low-line drive, end-over-end, ugly punt. And then a flag flies after the punt goes out of bounds. Second down. And seven. Duncan has the snap go through his hands, grabs it out of the air, runs, zigzags across the 25, gets to the 30, and that's a first down for Midwestern State. We don't have to draw pictures of it. It doesn't have to be pretty. They just it's accepted. First and 10, Midwestern State. Play action pass. Duncan, the southpaw. Fires right and completes the pass to Johnson. This one from 55 going the opposite way. And it is wide and short and no good. Volleyball game still started at 2 o'clock. Duncan back to pass and he is swarmed under. He has not had any time to throw tonight. The Wolves are just overwhelming Midwestern State at the line of scrimmage. Midwestern State, first and 10 at the Western Oregon 26. Duncan back to pass. Throws deep left side, has a man. Oh, the pass was high. It was a medicine ball, and the receiver got his clock cleaned. His helmet came flying off as he got hit. The ball came out of his hands inside the five-yard line. Post on the south end of the field. It's a good snap. The hold, the kick is up. Kick is perfect, right down the middle, center cut for Carlson. That gives him 27 yards on the game. McCarty is back to pass, floating over to the left side, throwing to the left boundary, and the catch is made by Hickok, his third reception. He stumbles out of bounds in front of the Midwestern State. It's been Sayre who's been getting the workload. Kainoa Sayre came in averaging less than three yards a carry. Tight end on the left, pistol formation. McCarty fakes the handoff, drops back to pass, chased out of the pocket, running left, first down and more as he's into Midwestern State territory, crossing the sideline in front of the Western Oregon bench at the Midwestern State 42-yard line. Oregon. Handoff, Sayre coming right, upended. Sarah, That's a nice tackle. Sayre has the legs cut out from underneath him by Larry Donnell, who makes his eighth tackle of the game. McCarty with a pitch left. Robinson can't make the tackle in the backfield, and picking up a first down is Jermaine Land, a 5'8", redshirt sophomore out of Oakland. McCarty play action, throws back left. It's caught, and there's an alley to run through, and then breaking a tackle at the five and into the end zone, scoring a touchdown is Isaiah Nimmitt out of the hold of McCarty. And the extra point is good. If you were with us in the first half, and some of you may not have been, maybe didn't get the word that we started at 6 o'clock tonight, there was a Western Oregon player who went out on a punt and it was Thomas Johnson, the long snapper, who was carrying and is averaging just 24 yards a punt tonight, and he is going to throw deep down the right side. Still hasn't had a pass hit the ground. It's intercepted. He's either completed the pass or thrown an interception on his fake punts this year. It's lined up to go for it on fourth down. This is their first attempt on fourth down tonight, and the ball is taken away, and Midwestern State has stripped it, and Larry Donnell running away on the way to the end zone for a touchdown. This is a team, Western Oregon, that 
really relies on field position, and you're going to help him out. Here's the Carlson extra point. Carlson straight through. It's up and through. The wall three is back. It's a reverse. Coming to the left side is Green. Needs a block. Has it. Runs through an alley up the left side. Turns on the Jets to the 25-20. Angles inside to the 10. To the end zone. Touchdown. Turned 66 yards for a touchdown in that third quarter. And now Midwestern State first and 10 from its own 49. Duncan escapes the pocket running left. The quarterback runs over one man and gets taken down at around the 41-yard line. Down at the 43-yard line. 45 yards out on the left hash. Out of the hold of Gonzalez. Carlson's kick is on the way, and it is good. Carlson's now three for four. Second down and six from the 31 for Midwestern State. Down five with 9.20 to play in the game. Canables back to pass again. Completes it right and hit apparently across the boundary, but there's no call. They say he got hit inbounds. That's green. It's third down and six. They're six of 13 on third down tonight. McCarty throws out to the right flat. There's going to be defensive holding here, and I don't think there's much doubt about it. Prentice Powell had his arm around the waist of the receiver. The intent. Knable gets the snap from Paul Ledet, chest high, drops back, pocket collapsing, fires over the middle, complete to the 43 yard line. Jimmy Trilla makes the catch. Receiver. Pass over the middle, caught. Johnson makes the catch. Adam Johnson makes the catch, has his ankles. Brought together as he's tackled by Elijah King at the 20th. And next Saturday, Western Oregon welcomes Angelo State to Monmouth. Central Washington and Angelo State playing tonight. And that is a final, and it was Angelo State winning a close one tonight. 17-16, 17-16, Angelo State remaining unbeaten in conference play with a one-point win over Central Washington at LeGrand State.